Hello everybody. Today we are making healthy chocolate chip cookies out of this awesome cookbook. Um, it's just healthy. You make, you make it with almond flour. Okay, so what, as I said, we're making, um, actually we're making chocolate chip cranberry um, cookies. So, we're going to need almond flour, grapeseed oil, um, you're going to need uh, baking soda, little chocolate chips, electric mixer, a like, pan, something to scoop out the dough with. Also, okay. Wait on this set. You are also going to need something to measure everything, like tables, teaspoons, all that stuff. Um, agave nectar, uh, vanilla extract, sea salt. Um, if you wanted to add like cra dried cranberries to them to make it healthier, you can use those or like raisins. Um, a like measuring cup for what? Um, a big bowl and a medium bowl or two large bowls. So now let's get into the recipe. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start our dry ingredients, but before you do that, you're going to need to preheat the oven to 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit and um, get to your pans out and stuff, like your... Okay, so now I'm going to put in all the wet ingredients. We are going to put in the agave nectar, grape seed, grape seed oil, and vanilla extract. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add the wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Make sure to stir the um, wet ingredients as well with the whisk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I almost missed that step. Okay. And to make sure you get, like, all of it, you might, like, want to get a spatula or something, or a spoon, or ladle, or whatever they call these things. Like this, it's, like, it's covered in silicone, so it... And, like scrape out things easily. They work really well. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna use an electric mixer since it really rarely mixes things. I'll just mix that up. What is it on? Is it on medium? Yeah, I usually ours has numbers. And um it goes up to five, and right now it's at two. So about, yeah, medium, low, low, medium. It smells so good. I don't know why, but almond flour just... Okay, so if you're going to use cranberries, um, then you're going to add in a fourth chocolate chips and a fourth of cranberries, but if you're not using the cranberries, then just do half a cup of chocolate chips. And the recipe calls for unsweet and dark chocolate, but we didn't have any of that, so we're just using the good old-fashioned chocolate chips with all the sugar. Although, if you really want to go healthy with it, then use the unsweetened. Oh, and after this, you are going to want to refrigerate it for 20 minutes. And we'll get back to you after it's done refrigerating. And I think um, you're you're supposed to cover it with oh, yeah. plastic wrap. Cover it with okay. plastic wrap. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so once it's done in the fridge, 
We are now going to put it onto our nicely ready pan. Um, you can use a spoon, but it, the recipe calls for about a tablespoon. So. Okay, so here is one batch of them finished. There's, you have to let them cool. We did another batch over here. These are more like scones, though, because we didn't like flat them down. But they're still good. They, like the cranberries, add a lot of sweetness, and so does the chocolate chips. And the almond flour is really, really sweet. So, like, you don't need the sugar yeah. or the eggs or anything. Yeah, it had they no are eggs. Super good. And this is gluten free, so. Um, if you buy, well, um, if you want, if you buy unsweetened chocolate, um, then it's like sugar free, egg free, and gluten free. And seriously, I can't taste the difference in the two cookies. Like, I love these cookies; they're so good. Mm -hmm. And the almond one. flour is super good for you. And then the grape oil is so good for you. And it's the same price as olive oil, and it's ten times healthier. So, like, enjoy, make these. You'll love them. Comment. Okay, so bye. Bye.